Don. I want to build myself a custom bumper. I don't want it to be too big. I want it at the same time to be fairly light. So uh, Chris here bought a Leighton Racing Stealth Bumper. Um, I decided I'm going to kind of mock up to that and then uh, add in some LED lights onto there as well as I'm hoping to keep these holes for tie down and make it look very similar. Um, I'm going to try and make it lighter than his. So I opted to use a eighth inch thick piece of uh, metal plate uh, I'm going to use this piece here that I found down in the shop. Uh, I'm going to use that to make the side pieces that bend out. Um, instead of having the bends, I'm going to weld it with a little plate in the back for strength. And I'm going to use this for the whole center piece to make the piece that comes up as well as the piece that goes across. And I'm going to cut that out. to freehand this one because it's a really long cut even though we have a chop saw sitting right beside me so anyways I think that's pretty good for a freehand this is the side I cut right here these two sides all right so I've got these two plates that I'm gonna weld on the side uh, I set it at what I think looks like a 45 degree angle so uh, I'm gonna do that one and then I'm gonna make the other one match that one so <laughs> So I just let these welds cool down a little bit, and the welds are still cooling down, uh, and I'm going to test this, so here we go. So since I want to put a light bar in my bumper, I made this plate that follows the same angles as my other part of my bumper already. Uh, and then, uh, as you can see, I'm not going to mount it right at the top. I'm going to put it probably about an inch down or so. Uh, I'm going to measure off of our other light bars. For instance, we have one on the, the uh, 250 there. Uh, I'm going to decide how low I need to put this bracket, and then uh, I'm going to weld it in. So that way I can mount my light bar right off of there and it will be sturdy and out of the way so it doesn't get hit while I'm riding. I took this down to the shop and uh, after I did much maths, uh, messed up a few times so I had to end up using a different color marker to mark it out where the holes have to be. But it works, it looks great. Uh, I just matched it up to the light bar that I was matching off of and uh, the holes are very, very close. So close that I can put them both together and it'll pop right. I wire wheeled all of the splatter off, now it's time for paint. So I'm going to modify this completely, here you can kind of see right down there. It's just completely messed up. So I'm gonna put these braces on uh, part way down, just like that. Put a nice weld across the top of that mount and down the uh, side of the frame. And then on the side of the bumper, I'm gonna have a little bit smaller metal that comes off of the back of the bumper, uh, off that plate. 
and then uh, that's going to bolt onto here so that this bumper will be removable. And then down in the bottom, I'm still going to use that stock one bolt for the center. That's right. Can't handle that, it can't handle being abused. If you haven't seen any of our first gen videos yet, um, you definitely gotta see them. If you don't know what a first gen is, shame on you. It's a Dodge Cummins, by the way.